Sven Reichart has kings. He raises to 160k. Olivier Busquet is on the button. With ace do suited, he has fewer than 20 big blinds. For Olivier's sake, I hope he's just thinking about flatting. Holland. He shoves. He wasn't just thinking about flatting. Klein folds the small blind. Trickett folds the big. And Reichardt's calling. That's bad. And Olivier Busquet is at risk. Reichardt's kings, a 68% favorite. Is Olivier Busquet going to finish eighth in a super high roller again? That would be brutal. Um, Reichardt almost flops him dead. Uh, more than almost. He's got less than 1%. 8-8, eight, eight, you win. Ace-ace. 8-8. Eight, 8-8. Eight. Eight, eight. Or ace-ace. Oh, boy. Busquet now has two outs. The great television. Is that what you, you would think? If it happened, you'd be like, well, at least it was good television? <laughs> That'd be so sick. Sick doesn't cover it. Busquet needs another ace to survive. And it oh is another God. race! So you're saying there's a chance? Unbelievable! Less than 1% on the flop! And runner, runner to make a better full house. <laughs> you're taking photos of this? I've never yeah. seen that. Yeah, obviously. And it's AA for Busquet. <laughs> there's an early position raise, an early position re raise, and you wake up with aces, it is a dream come true. I'm talking Megan Fox caliber dreams here. You were gonna four bet. You were gonna four bet like the wind. Here comes the re-raise from Olivier. 930,000. A fold from Trickett. Action on Shaq. How much you have left? Oh man, are we gonna see a classic Dan Shaq blast off? Two million something? Like two, three. Don't do it, Dan. I'm all in. Go. Whoops. We've seen that face before. It usually comes right before he knocks someone out of a tournament. Sorry, Olivier. Well, Busquet is an 87% favorite here. Yeah, how good do you think he feels about that 87%? He just won with less than 1%. Good point. Risky shove by Dan Shack. He had no fold equity against any actual hand, and Olivier is going to be bluffing there less often than an Appalachian father at a shotgun wedding. Well, Shaq is at risk and behind. But he flops a flush draw. Boom shakalak. All he's missing is the final uh. I know it's right, too. Good spot, Sam. Who's all in, by the way? I am. You're all in. Who's all in? Dan's all. So Dan Shack needs a spade on the river to survive and take the chip lead. Can he do it again? If it's a spade, he remains the goat. If not, this is going to be a punt for the ages. The river is a diamond. He's out. Good call. Close on that one. Yeah. Again, then. First pot of open all day. Right now, Olivier Busquet is the massive chip leader, largely due to that amazing hand against Sven Reichardt. Trinovsky with ace eight. Not an all in. A raise to 260,000. Busquet in the big blind has fives. All in. And he shoves on Vlad. And Trinovsky calls. Ray's calling with ace eight might be plus EV, depending on how light Olivier's jamming, but I think open shoving does slightly edge it out. Vlad, flipping for his tournament life. How much did he have? 16 bigs, like 2 million, 2.1 million. It's a race, like beans versus slaw. Well, Trinovsky flops a gut shot. He now has aces, nines, and eights all working for him. The turn card is a three. So Troynovsky needs to hit one of his ten outs on the river. It's a jack. Fives hold. And Vlad exits in third. Good game, man. Oh. Good time, you? Good luck. Yeah, just too lucky. Good playing. Chop, chop. Hey guys, wait for him to get out of earshot at least before you bring up the chop. Yeesh. Right now, Olivier has almost a 10 to 1 chip lead over Coleman. By the way, Dan Coleman definitely in the danger zone. And he's got Ace King here. Oh, and he's setting a trap. He just calls. 
Queen Jack suited for Busquet. I do not see Olivier checking behind. He raises. Oren. Coleman shoves. And Olivier calls. Here we go. It's either over or the start of a very long journey back for Dan Coleman. Well, Dan's got it in as a 62% favorite. Gotcha. <laughs> gotcha. You got me, man. Well, Busquet's got two live cards, and if he hits, the title is his. The flop is eight deuce deuce. Coleman now a three to one favorite to double up. The heat is on. The turn card is a queen. Busquet now an 86% favorite. Only six cards in the deck deny him victory. The heat may be turning off. The river card is a 10. Busquet beats his buddy to win the Barcelona Super High Roller. If I'd seen a movie where a character comes back from having less than 1% chance to winning the whole thing, I would have said it was too unrealistic. The master has struck back and triumphed.